Tom got the Nobel Prize for uh, recognizing his long-term 25 years of work um, trying to understand the molecular basis of neurotransmission. Tom is super understanding and he listens to me and he listens to my ideas uh, even though I've only been here for three months. And I think this is one of the reasons that Tom is so successful is because he listens to great ideas no matter where they come from. And that really helps make him part of the Stanford community as well. Um, so, and, and I think that getting the Nobel Prize really validates this approach for him and it really shows that in science to make great steps, you have to listen to great ideas no matter where they come from. Although Tom's research is quite fundamental, it has um, implications for the medical field in that you, for example, if you think of diseases such as epilepsy or autism spectrum disorders or even Parkinson's disease, understanding how the machinery works for neurons to talk to each other is essential to understand what goes wrong in those diseases. I've encountered many great scientists in my life and Tom is among those who truly enjoys the joy of discovery, the joy of understanding truth. And he often tells me that truth has intrinsic value that's independent of its application. What people don't know about him is really uh, the person, the person behind all those papers, the person behind the science. And that's the one that has affected me the most. And not only he's been you know, supporting me in a personal manner, but also scientifically showed me really how to do a solid science. I've been very lucky to join Tom Sudov's lab and I would always make the same choice again. He's been a fantastic mentor, my projects have worked out beautifully and I'm now moving on personally to the next step to become an uh, assistant professor myself and I hope one day I'll be able to um, follow in his footsteps.